first of you, Peter. Yeah. Is, there, is there anything, any kind of evidence that John well, could bring to bear that would actually make you change your mind and I, think I, actually maybe there is a God? I, I, I think that's very interesting. I, I have asked myself that question previously. You know, is there any evidence that would flip me into, into the belief camp uh, and so on? And I simply can't think of any. I think uh, if I tell myself that if I agreed with some evidence, then it showed that I'd simply gone mad. Right. Um, so it's a serious question, but I don't think there can be any evidence. Are, are you saying I, your I mean, position is it, unfalsifiable in that sense? Yes, because um, even if there was, if I was standing, you know, at the foot of a cross and saw the um, the resurrection before my very eyes, I would put it down to hallucination. It's an extension of the David. Uh, it's an extension of the David Hume argument, which you didn't quite complete, because Hume went on to say that there is always more reason to um, b disbelieve the reporter than what he is reporting. Do, do you want to make a comment firstly on, on the fact that for, for Peter there's literally nothing that could convince him that God Well, exists. I'm very interested in what he said at the end, that he would believe it was a hallucination. And he mentioned to me before that the psychologist would work on what I say, but they'd work on what he said. And one of the evidences for the resurrection of Jesus actually is the work psychologists have done in pointing out that it could not have been a hallucination. He was seen by over 500 people at once, different times Come of on. day or night, and all this kind of thing. But there are things that would reverse me. Okay, tell and, us what uh, I joined Peter. If uh, you could give me evidence that the gospel writers, for example, like Luke, were not authentic, if you could give me evidence that there's a really convincing explanation that Jesus did not rise from the dead, if you could show me that all the experiences I've had in life with my family and with other people that I would definitively put down to the activity of God, then I'd be prepared to consider. But well, uh, those think... cumulative evidences in my life are so large that I don't think it's likely to happen, but I have to be open to that. Why? Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, because I come from a very religious country, I was accused, and I've been accused tonight of the same thing, of, of course you believe that stuff, you're Irish, is the old Freudian explanation. So what have I done? I spent my entire life opening up my Christian commitment to its opposite is exactly what I'm doing tonight. And I've spent my life doing it. A lot of it in Russia, incidentally, where you meet really hard atheism. And doing that, constantly questioning my own position, has confirmed my position. Now, Peter, do you constantly question your own position? Um, or do you see no reason to do that? I see no reason to yes, do Yes, well, that. I see great reason but, to but, do it because, because I don't want to be but, fooled. But I see in you a great, the, an, an example of the power of cultural conditioning <laughs> that takes place during childhood. Well, Peter, I could argue the same. You see, the, yeah. the Freudian argument that says the religion is wish fulfillment, it works brilliantly if there is no God. But you see, I would want to argue that if there is a God, Peter's atheism can equally well be explained as wish fulfillment, the desire never to have to encounter God. The Freudian argument doesn't deal with the basic question, is there a God or not? So I, I simply think but I, that... But you see, I want to understand the workings of the world on this side of the grave. So do you, I. You seem to want to understand them on the other side. But why not of both, Peter? Oh, it's a bigger there, universe than because, just this side of the grave. Because there isn't anything on the other side. But that's of the just grave. an assertion. No, it's the lack of evidence. Well, well let's go to <laughs> another question. <laughs>